From the dignity and beauty of Oklahoma's Native Americans to stunning landscapes and wildlife, dozens of beautiful original photographs line the halls of our new downtown offices. But one photo in particular overlooking our newsroom caught the eye of a News 9 viewer. Our Storm Jones has the story of one family's emotional search and surprise. Let's go to Storm Jones. He is live. It was News 9's first ever morning show from 100 West Main. Well, it was 5 in the morning. <laughs> I'm all getting ready for work. But I wanted to show you this area. Our corporate offices are up here and it overlooks our newsroom. But once I got to work, I turned it, the TV back on. Been trans and you was uh, saying on this level and you pointed at this picture and said, and this is one of my favorite pictures here. I want to show you this picture. It's one of my favorite photos here. I said, that's my dad. Racing the walls of News 9. Then I just started screaming at work and crying. And everybody told me, where? I said, the picture that he's pointing at, that's my father. Ellen reached out to me on social media saying the man known to many as the shoeshine man was in fact her father, James Littlejohn. So yes, on the first day I was up here, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and this one, at least a million emotions. He just passed away July 29th. I love you, Daddy. Nobody deserves it more than him, baby. He was uh, a loving man. He tried to take care of everybody. Helen says her father began shining shoes as a hobby at age six, when Oklahoma City roads were dusty and clean boots cost just five cents. After retiring from Oklahoma City Public Schools, Little John took shining shoes full time, from the courthouse to the airport and the fairgrounds as well. He met a lot of people, and he always spoke about the Lord. He was just a good-hearted man. Um, all the way into the day he passed. Hi. Oh, hi. Daddy's speaking. Helen? Yes. I'm Josh. Well. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. You coming in there. That is so nice to meet you. Oh, that's okay. Josh, I took your father's photograph. At the fairgrounds. In 2012. Well, he Mass remembered Day. you as well. He did? Yes, because he told me that, said, a young man I met at the horse show took a picture of me. It wasn't until later when I was uploading the files that I stopped and I looked at it and I thought, wow, that is a really, really, really powerful portrait. His eyes do tell a story. My dad been through a lot, you know, he have overcame a lot. And he is a man of God. So uh, you see the Lord in him, you know. Uh, he bring peace to a lot of people, you know. You might can have a bad day and you just go look at that. And he would bring you peace. Now, Helen had seen that photo first years earlier hanging in an Oklahoma City storefront. I was going to purchase it, but it was a little too expensive. So I told the people I was going to come back in about two weeks to get it, but when I came back, somebody had already bought it. We have a surprise for you. News 9 has helped me make sure that you guys get a copy of this image that you can hang in your house and you can have this memory of little John forever. See? See? Okay. Thank you. Even in the darkest time, it will get better. When I took the photograph, like the lighting and all of that didn't really matter. His face told a million different stories in it immediately. Yes. So he, I mean, he was a great man. He took care of a lot of people. Um, and you can see that. He's a man of God. He tried to help anyone, anyone. You, nobody was a stranger. Where are you going to put that? Probably in my living room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably right over the fireplace. He's right where he needs to be. And I know he's pleased and he's happy. Storm Jones, Oklahoma's own News 9.